Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Small Engine Garage. Today's going to be a how-to, like I promised, how to pull a motor out of a 345. So far, you all see me take the air cleaner off and take the valve cover off to see what that the cam gear is indeed bad in this. Um, all I've done so far is I've drained the oil and I've drained the antifreeze just to get rid of that mess so far. So the oil's already out of it. The antifreeze is still dripping. So this is either going to turn into a how to pull an in, uh, 345 engine or how to pull a PTO clutch that's stuck on a 345 engine. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. I think I've said it before. Uh, these Kawasaki's and others have an issue with the PTO clutch getting seized on and the drive pulley getting seized on the transmission pulley gets seized on that crank and you got to cut them off i think i told the story where i had my personal one i actually cut the frame big enough to pull the pulley through flip the engine upside down and i still couldn't get the pulley off i still had to cut that pulley off on my bench i couldn't believe it so y'all ought to be able to see in here right there. I'll take you to the other side when I go to the other side. But I'm going to start on this side. I'm probably going to start by jacking it up and just see how lucky we can get. Um, the other one, I was lucky. The the transmission pulley gave me some fits, but uh, the PTO clutch slid right off. But the transmission pulley didn't give me many fits, but it did give me some. But this is a good engine, so I can't treat this engine the way I treated that other one. So let's go ahead and get this jacked up. Gotta get it high enough I can get my impact on that center bolt of the crankshaft. If not, you gotta figure out how to hold the engine and break it loose. And I don't wanna do that. I just use my impact. If you use an impact, you're all good. So I just jack the front end up as high as I can get it. drop the tractor either one it's all good <sighs> it's five eighths under there that center bolt almost all John Deere's are five eighths there's some nine sixteenths out there now all the old ones they are all five eighths PTO clutch bolt. All right. Wish us luck, guys. <laughs> oh boy, rust come out of the center. That don't necessarily mean anything, but it didn't fall right off. Yeah. Oh boy. She's stuck. Go figure. All right, well, I'm gonna, I gotta fire up my air compressor. I don't think it's too loud, but it does make my lights flash. And I need my air compressor. I'll try and take you all down where you can see all this. It's kind of in the way, you can't see it. Hey, you can see, I guess you're gonna see what I'm gonna do there. That's about the best I can get you guys. This could turn into a catastrophe. Has before. I 
I think you all can see this. This is what I use. This is an air hammer. It just does the hammering for me. That tool is priceless. Someday I'll show you how to rebuild these spindles on these, these cast iron spindles on these old John Deere decks. I'm just putting the bolt in so I don't ruin the crank. I might ruin the bolt, but so what? That's easy. I don't want to ruin the end of that crank. Hopefully it comes down. Sometimes it'll just rattle right down, but we don't know. We will see. Sorry about the noise, making noise. Nothing I can do about that. Here we go, guys. He's falling. Oh, well, there goes the current the PTO. That's just half the battle though, guys. We got the clutch to go. Yeah, I should unplug this before I did that. Should unplug your PTO clutch before you pull it so it don't pull on the wires. My bad. Okay, now will this pulley come off? I did bring arrow curl. I don't spray my phone with it. Very bad, guys. I don't know if that's going to be good for y'all or not. We're going to run with it for a minute. So y'all can see. I need to see. I'll come around. Make sure y'all aren't blinded. No, you're not. Let me adjust you. Maybe you can see that pulley now that the clutch is off. Maybe. There we go. There's the pulley I'm talking about. That's for your transmission belt. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and there's an idler pulley right next to it. I'm going to go ahead and pull that because it's got to come off anyway for the, there's a motor mount bolt underneath it. So it's got to come off at some point anyway. <laughs> Alright. This is one of them videos I don't know how it's going to turn out because I can't see the camera. I can't see the screen. Yeah, I should have turned my phone around. Oh, of course. Oh, of course, you can't get on it. But it's got to come off. It'd be nice to get the tension off that crank pulley. Let me grab a wrench. trying to have all my tools ready before I start my videos but sometimes these are unexpected stuff I just don't the other one didn't have a lift kit on it lift kits for sale 150 bucks for this front lift kit for the snow blade snow blower any of that stuff you want for the front of these 345 325 345 335 then there's a like a 335D, which is a diesel. As long as it's not a GX model, GX takes different lift kits. If you're before your number says GX, you take a different lift kit. To look at the tractor, you wouldn't think there'd be any difference in them, but there is. There's difference in those tractors. There's all these spacers falling. I know where they all go. 
Okay. If you're praying, people, that today's right now is the time. See if we can get this pulley to drop down. Sure would be nice if it would. Trying to have all the antifreeze out of it. I'm gonna go look for a smaller crank pulley, guys. Okay, I found a bolt. I could have left it running. I really walked up to my bench and they want to lay right on my bench. That fit that. Nice short bolt. Even got a divot right there to hopefully hold my air hammer better. <coughs> I think it's moving down. Moving down. Oh, where's my arrow crawl? Uh oh, there it is. I'm gonna spray it on top, on top of the pulley, because it come down like a quarter inch or something. Not much, but it moved. That's a good thing that it moved. You don't want to put a puller on if you don't have to. I've bent them. I've tried. All right. So I sprayed the top. I'm actually going to push it back up. Oh, that moved a good inch. Alright, now I'm going to try and get this belt off it. That'll help take some of the tension off that pulley. So hopefully it'll... It's moving, that's a good thing. I should be able to save it. Thank goodness. That's a big deal, guys, to get that off of there. I hate rattling on a crank like that because it rattles through the whole engine. But what else are you going to do? <laughs> it's hard to cut that off the crank. And then you got to find another pulley, which is hard. They're expensive. I had to do that for my personal one. I didn't have a pulley. I had to buy one. I might as well go ahead and uh, while I'm under here, there's four motor mount bolts. I might as well go ahead and jerk those out real quick. And I can't go shut that air compressor off now. I'm done with it. I don't think they make an electric version of an air hammer. They sure couldn't call it an air hammer. Maybe there's an electric hammer out there. I'm not sure. Not that I've seen. Thank goodness, guys. You have no idea what a relief it is to get them pulleys off of there. I have fought 
and fought and fought with these tractors. My personal. <laughs> Two weeks before I finally cut that frame. Heating it, spraying it. Basically had it ruined already anyway. Just broke that bolt. I might have to use that other oil pan. We will see. Okay, so that's the motor mount bolts. Um, that's everything from under here. So let me get out from under here. Get you back on the outside. Get y'all set back up, guys. There we go. There you are, I think. Level you up, maybe. There. Okay, so now we still gotta pull fuel line, exhaust, electrical. I take this little side panel off right here because it's uh actually I'm gonna move you guys right up here somehow. Try not to tip you over. I take off this set side panel right here. Oh, Cause all the electrical to unplug is right there. It just gets it out of the way. It's just this one bolt. And it's just that easy. Slide back and then out. Maybe it's supposed to slide down. There it goes. I'm pulling one more. Play fair. Right there, that just opens it up to unplug all this. There's your main harness right here. To get to that, it's a pain in the butt with that plastic in your way. There, that's your main harness. Got to unplug your starter. Solenoid wire, the purple wire. Wow, that one's stubborn. Why is that on there so good? There it goes. And you gotta you gotta take off your positive cable and there's your main power wire coming off of that right here. That's your main power wire. That supplies power to the whole tractor. <laughs> That's a 13 millimeter. stuff right back on that starter but that's your main power wire oops and that didn't even unhook it that's your main power wire the whole tractor right there guys that feeds everything that one little wire so if you don't hook that up you're dead in the water obviously all right this is your throttle cable here it's in these little grommets. They just snap open. I don't like the length of a 345 throttle cable. My personal one seizes up all the time. I'm constantly having to bring it in and take it apart and lube it. I gotta take all this front end stuff apart. All these shrouds and all that. So I'm gonna move you guys over here. Maybe drop you down a little bit. And the muffler while well, I'm right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the muffler too, so. Can you see? Yeah, I think so. I don't be using the impact, I think, that I didn't bring over. I'm gonna go get my impact. These little bolts pretty much either 12 or 10 no or 13 or 10 13 and then there's a 10 here and a 10 here oh the 
clip broke. I wonder what fell. You know, I'm just throwing all these bolts in the toolbox. Excuse my back. Oh, that clip broke too. That'll be the extra one I can't find later. This has an updated fuel pump. Somebody's been inside this one too. That's a good thing. There. Now we can see everything. There's our fuel line. Right there. Here's our throttle cable. We're getting at both of those. Two for one, baby. Two for one. Get them done. Now I gotta pull that muffler. That's all, you gotta do it by hand. It's 10 millimeter, you can get to the bolt, but I don't think you can get a ratchet on most of them. I think you gotta do it by hand. Usually once you break them loose, they seem to come right off. Don't see that give you too many issues. There's your throttle cable off. And we'll just come back there to get it out of the way. If I try, try not to let that snap you in the head or in the face. It'd probably cut your eye open, I'm sure it would. That'd be a bad day. In fact, thing, if you didn't have it tied back and it came back, caught you in the eye, that would cut your eye. Cut your cheek. Cut your lip. Leatherman to the rescue yet again. There we go. I got one little bolt back in behind here for this little brat shroud to get it on the way so I can get that muffler off easier. I don't know if my rats will even get on it. They will not. Ugh. Well, that was tight. This had new oil in it. I don't remember, I think I showed you guys that. That scares me a little bit. So you can tell they ran the other one out of oil. And this one turns free. Hopefully that cam went before they did any more damage. The other one already had a steel cam, so it had to stick in there and take the pain. But to have new oil, that's always scary. And then that's not necessarily a new oil filter it didn't look like. Oh, is there a nut on the bottom of that? Oh jeez. There's a nut on the bottom. I'm sitting here turning and talking. Getting nowhere. I thought the frame was tapped. There it is. I just get that out of the way. I think you gotta do it anyway to get to that exhaust. You might be able to pull this out. If you pulled that front black shroud, you might be able to pull it out with the exhaust if that's what you wish. I guess either way, the exhaust, whatever you're doing, the exhaust got to come off for the next part. Tell the motor mount bolts are out of it. Not sitting still. See, they usually come off pretty easy. They don't usually give you too many hassles. I ain't had one yet. They gave me any hassles. They do, just take your time. If you have to heat them, heat them. 
Use lots of lube. Just take your time. You'll get it to break loose and come off of there. I don't think you'll ever have any issues with these particular ones. Well, that's good that this has the newer fuel pump on it. You can see it's been replaced. I think they would have washed it when they had it all apart. Jeez. I wonder if they even own a power washer. No, I can't say that. That other tractor and motor was disgusting. I couldn't believe the motor. That's one of the dirtiest motors I've seen in a long time. It was that other one that I, we took, we're going to take the cam and stuff out of. That seized up one. That thing was dirty. Alright, that's it for this side. Let's go to the other side. Exhaust. I don't think there's... I don't know what else is over there. There might be some more wires yet. But I got two more exhaust bolts on the other side. We're not going to tear this apart today. We're just going to get it out of the chassis. My gaskets won't be here for two more days. So I don't feel I should just take it apart, have it set in there all apart. I'll wait. Maybe I'll run it to the car wash and give it a bath. Because I got to take that other chassis to the car wash. I want to give it a bath. This time of year, I don't run my power washer. Not that I have one. It kind of went sour last fall. It was just a cheap jungle, made in the jungle electric one. It wasn't nothing special. It worked. But it sure didn't last long. I, I, it might have froze once last year. But then the trigger, now the trigger quit. It never really had much power. It ain't got the power they claim as far as I'm concerned. I've had a lot of gas ones. So I'm going to, this spring, I'll have to buy a new gas one, I guess. Or maybe find a good used one. I buy, try and buy used when I can. I'm not afraid to buy used stuff. I buy a lot of it. Some stuff is worth buying new, I guess. We're redoing our kitchen-ish. Just doing some updating. We've never done much since we've been here. Not to the kitchen, I mean. Done a lot since we've been here. Just not to the kitchen. So I just put in a above range microwave. Got the microwave off the counters, which we have very very little counter space to have a microwave take up that precious space wasn't worth it to me so i added that we put in a refrigerator with an ice maker so we don't have to go buy bagged ice anymore yeah i think that's it guys there ain't nothing on this side oh yeah there's there's a ground right here that's why that one broke off that's my bad There's a ground hook to this back motor mount bolt. So it kind of made like a lock nut on that bolt because the oil pan's also threaded. It's like a jam nut, I guess you would call it. So that's why that bolt broke. But I should be able to get it out. There's an inch sticking out this side. So once I get the oil pan off and cleaned up, I should be able to get that out of there. My bad. The other one didn't have that. So you might want to pay attention to that, guys. Be the back right corner if you're sitting on the tractor. Right behind, they had to, of course, they had to put it behind the oil fill. They couldn't put it on any other accessible ones. Right behind the oil filter, or the oil fill, to the left of the oil filter. <coughs> There's a knot with two wires, black wires going to it. Those are grounds. Don't forget to hook them back up when you put your engine back in. You'll have problems. So, yeah, one more bolt. I'll throw this on the bench and we'll say our goodbyes for today. I don't know how long it's been. Don't take long to pull one of these old motors. Just 
one bolt at a time. Anything hooked to it. Usually there's a main wiring harness. The starter's usually never part of that main wiring harness for some reason. I don't know why they wire them that way, but usually the starter's got, you got to unhook the starter. The trigger wire on the starter. And that, I guess that's where your main, that's not always where your main power is. Sometimes they come off the positive of the battery, right at the battery. Sometimes. All right, guys. Oh. I can't bring you with me. But you can watch me pick it out of here, I guess. What am I doing now? Oh, what's hooked? Oh, there is another wiring. I'm sorry. There's a headlight harness over here. That's my bad. Gosh darn it. That was on the other one and I knew it. These are kind of a pain in the butt. It's almost easiest to take the connector out. Let me show you what I'm doing here. No sense leaving me over there. They stuff that connector behind there and you really can't get it out of there without taking everything apart. So I just pop the little connectors out of the plastic and then run them through. There's one. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before or not. I take that for granted sometimes. I've done this stuff so much. Some of you guys have never seen anybody do that before. I'll see if I can get you closer and show you exactly what I did. Get out of there. I just poked in. See those little nubs right there? Them little flaps? You just push those in. And then when you're, you know, to put it back in, you got to bend them back out just a little bit. You just take your nail and stick under it. Just bend them back out just a little bit. Then they snap in. They only go in one way. You got to pay attention. You can see how they snap. One way has a ramp. One way has a ledge. You know, you need to snap over that ledge. If you're going in the wrong way, it won't. So, all right. I mean, now I'm ready to pick this engine out of here. Ta-da! And that's how you pull the engine out of a 345. I want to show you all one thing. I'm going to show it in this video. And I'm going to show it in the tear apart video. I, I, when I went to go drain the oil out of this, I stuck my... I'm going to back you up. I stuck my wrench on there and watch what happens. Did you see that whole thing move? Let me see if I can... It might have already moved. Anyway, this whole thing moved from here where it wasn't supposed to. No, I think it'll still go more. Hang on. It's hard because the engine ain't bolted down anymore. Anyway, that moved. Back and forth. Why? That rips that gasket right there. Which is probably what happened to the other engine. They give you a spot, and I did it too. I did it myself. Right there to put a second wrench on that. To hold that from spinning and it looks like maybe a one inch here I'll find out yes it's a one inch and a seven eighths if I'd have did that that never would have spun that's a bad bad design as far as I'm concerned that's terrible but I've ripped that gasket just because I know that has moved so there's no doubt there's no doubt I need a drink so I guess I got a dad joke for you let me get a drink of my Pure Leaf first. Still Miss Oldsmobile. All right, here we go. What does a fish say when they hit a concrete wall? Damn. God bless, y'all. Take care. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment. But watch it till the end if you can. Take care. 
See you next time.